Greetings, Shalom, Pastor Mark Viltz here of El Shaddai Ministries, and I just want to do some clarification on these uh, topics of the Noahide laws. Uh, to begin with, uh, I purposely did not name any names because I don't see any reason for uh, specifically identifying anybody uh, because I'm sure there's more than one person out there uh, who believes in these uh, this type of thinking uh, and I don't want to refer to people as wackos as much as there are great people with wacko thinking uh, and so I want to address the thinking not necessarily the people uh, let me give you one example of a response that we got uh, it says uh, there is a very simple question uh, that was not directly addressed referring to me I didn't address this he says which brings me great pause uh, do the Noahide laws state that acknowledging Jesus Christ as the only begotten Son of God illegal? Uh, why not address uh, this core question? Well, first off, uh, the Noahide laws were like 2,000 years before Jesus was born. So how can the Noahide laws address Jesus as the only begotten Son? Uh, the Ten Commandments don't even address Jesus as the only begotten Son. Uh, I think people seem to assume the Noahide laws are something that was uh, created yesterday or something. Uh, these laws have been around for thousands of years. Uh, and of course, if they were thousands of years before Jesus was born, they obviously are not going to talk about Jesus. Okay, uh, uh, the next thing I want to read uh, what is referred to in some of these people who believe in Noahide laws, and I'm not specifying anyone in particular. Uh, this is what they wrote. Uh, on March 20th, 1991, the United States Congress passed uh, this House Joint Resolution 104, which was then signed into law by President George H.W. Bush and became public law number 102-14. And that says the law designates March 26th as Education Day USA in commemoration of the late Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson, leader of the Lubavitch movement, also known as Chabad, for his efforts to return the world to the ethical values of the seven Noahide laws. And then from this, they launch into this tirade about, oh my goodness, what are we going to do? The seven Noahide laws are now part of the U.S. Constitution, and they're all going to behead everybody. They have this big thing. We're all supposed to panic because now uh, they're going to behead everybody as they, the, tw the seven Noahide laws are now part of the United States laws by the Congress. Well, that's been 28 years ago. And I haven't seen anyone beheaded yet. Uh, so, I mean, 500 years from now, are we still supposed to worry about what happened 28 years ago? Uh, but even with that said, so many people get all worked up over the Sanhedrin. Oh, my goodness, the Sanhedrin is now going to start beheading everybody. Uh, well, to begin with, the Sanhedrin isn't even recognized by the nation of Israel, for heaven's sake. Uh, how, uh, I mean, the Jewish people, uh, they're not going to rule the world. They're not going to conquer the world. Uh, and all they're trying to do is bring uh, biblical ethics to the world. Uh, and so uh, if you're afraid you're going to be beheaded because the Bible says do not murder, which is one of the seven, seven Noahide laws, uh, you need to change your thinking. Uh, so anyway, I just uh, with that said, uh, there's a, a lot of fear out there and we can't be motivated by fear. I mean, for heaven's sake, they don't even enforce the laws here in the United States. There are sheriffs out there who aren't even enforcing gun laws. So uh, you don't have anything to fear here in the United States or anywhere else in the world because a little small group that nobody recognizes, even Israel doesn't recognize, is trying to say it's good not to murder, it's good not to steal, it's good not to commit adultery, it's good not to eat uh, a limb from an animal that's still alive, it's not good to commit idolatry. Uh, so if you think those are all horrible and demonic, well, then that's wacko thinking. So, but with that said, uh, blessings be upon you, and uh, may we all hope that these laws that God gave to Noah, uh, someday, I'm sure they will be implemented when Jesus himself is here ruling and reigning on the earth, and we all pray for that day. Thank you.